Hey you guys, Linwood here, and today I'm going to show you how to do these sweetheart knots. So stay tuned and thumbs up if you like it. If you haven't seen my last video, you can do so by clicking the I up here and it will go ahead and take you to a ton of my videos. First, you'll have my last video there and you'll also have a playlist of my previous videos on there also. Uh, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I know what you guys are probably thinking, the sweetheart knot, Linwood, you're like four years too late for Valentine's Day, but you can always be someone's sweetheart. Heart. So don't wait till Valentine's Day to show someone just how much you love them. All right, now that we're done with the marriage counseling, let's go ahead and jump into the video. Okie dokie, so here's the up close and I wanted you guys to see it up here so that way you could understand exactly why I have it named the Sweetheart Knot. And the reason why is because it reminds me of those little sweetheart candies that no one likes during Valentine's Day. Uh, but the shape is very much a heart. And you'd be surprised at just how similar to my trompa knot this one here is. So stay tuned, thumbs up if you like it. Of course, always let me know what you think in the comment box below and don't forget to subscribe. All right, you guys, so I have the blade on my right side here, the tail on my left. I am starting off with the blade sitting right at about my belly button. And I'm just gonna go ahead and pinch off here, creating my power crease. I'm going to pull that to the center. From there, I'm gonna pull the tail right on over the blade. And I'm gonna go ahead and bring around and through the back. Now, just so you guys know, I do have this image flip. So when I say right, it should also be on your right side, just so it's a little bit less confusing. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take it from here. Now I'm just gonna fold this baby in two. From there, we're just gonna wrap it around. I'm not wrapping around the back. I'm just creating a loop with it and I'm gonna tuck it on back through the back. I'm gonna bring it over to my left side and I'm unfolding it so it's no longer in two. From here, I'm gonna bring it over this first loop here. It's gonna come under the middle and up over this loop here. So we're coming through there again. And I'm just going to go ahead and pull that baby all the way through there. And I know everything now seems kind of snug, but don't worry, it'll all come out in the wash. So we're just going to keep it just as is. I know it's looking a little rough. Don't worry about it. It'll be just fine. All right, so from here, I'm going to take my little bit of tail that I have left. And so in case you haven't guessed it, this is a very hungry knot. Um, if you're a taller man, you may need a longer tie or you probably need a vest because it's going to eat up a lot of fabric. Okay, so from here I'm going to fold this baby back in half. We're wrapping it pretty tightly around the back and up and through the center just like so. And I'm not really worried about that. I'm keeping it rather tight because it's not going to show in the end anyway. From here I'm just going to go ahead and find this loop here and insert the tail. Now, if you are a taller man, that'll probably all be all you have to do because it'll be hidden by this portion. I'm a little bit vertically challenged. So I'm going to now find this loop underneath here. I'm just going to pull it out some so I can get my finger in there. And the tip of my tail is going to slide right into that. You may have to stick your tongue out a little bit to get it. All right. So now that we've got that, we have what looks like a mess. So I'm going to go ahead and take these top two loops here, not these outside ones, but the inside ones. And I'm just gonna pull them some to exaggerate them a bit. And from there, it's all in shaping my knot. So this is why I kinda kept everything pretty tight while I was tying, because it allows me to shape this knot and it holds this shape all day long. So literally what I'm doing is I'm just pinching here at the bottom and I'm shaping up here at the top. From there, I can drop my collar down. And then if I want a more exaggerated look, I can even pull this outside of the range of my collar a bit and then go ahead and pinch there in the middle. So that way you really get that sweetheart shape out of the knot. And that is all there is to it. From there, I'm just gonna toss this baby in my vest and make sure everything's nice and snug put a few final touches on that just to kind of round and soften it out a bit. And there you have it. And honestly, I did this knot. I didn't think it was going to get as much 
feedback as it did. But when I tell you like this one here was a show stopper. Okay, you guys, so that was a sweetheart knot. Let me know what you think in the comment box below. As always, thumbs up if you like it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. And just so you guys know, I got a ton of great feedback on this knot from people in person, from mamas, from grandmamas, from mamas, mamas, all kinds of stuff. I guess that's technically the same thing as grandmamas. But let me know the feedback that you guys get down below also. I'd love to hear about it. Thanks so much for watching. Take care and God bless. You're fancy now. Bye-bye.